Today we're going to tell you about Netflix. Netflix is an American media services provider headquartered in Los Gatos, California. Netflix was founded on Friday, August 29, 1997 in Scotts Valley, California by Mark Randolph and Reed Hastings. Randolph worked as a marketing director for Hastings company Pure Atria. Randolph was a co-founder of Micro Warehouse, a computer mail order company, and was later employed by Borderland International as vice president of marketing. Hastings, a computer scientist and mathematician, sold Pure Atria to Rational Software Corporation in 1997 for $700 million in what was the richest acquisition in Silicon Valley history. They came up with the idea for Netflix for commuting, commuting between their homes in Santa Cruz and Pure Atria's headquarters in Sunnyvale while waiting for government regulators to approve the merger, although Hastings has given several different explanations as to how the idea was created. Reed Hastings invested $2.5 million in startup cash for Netflix. Netflix introduced the monthly subscription concept in September 1997 and then dropped the multiple rental model in early 2000. Since that time, the company has built its reputation on the business model of flat fee unlimited rentals without due dates, late fees, shipping and handling fees, or per title rental fees. Netflix has played a prominent role in an independent film distribution through its division Red Envelope Entertainment. Netflix licensed and distributed independent films such as Born Into Brothels and Sherry Baby. As late as 2006, Red Envelope Entertainment also expanded into producing an original content with filmmakers such as Sean Grader's Netflix closed Red Envelope Entertainment in 2008 in part to avoid competition with its studio partners. Netflix has been one of the most successful dot-com ventures. In September 2002, the New York Times reported that, at the time, Netflix mailed about 190,000 discs per day to its 670,000 monthly subscribers. The company's published oh. subscriber count increased from 1 million in the fourth quarter of 2002 to around 5.6 million at the end of the third quarter of 2006 to 14 million in March 2010. Netflix's early growth was fueled by the fast spread of DVD players in households. In 2004, nearly two-thirds of United States homes had a DVD player. Netflix capitalized on the success of the DVD and its rapid expansion into United States homes, integrating the potential of the internet and e-commerce to provide services and catalogs that bricks and mortar retailers could not compete with. Netflix also operates an online affiliate program which has helped to build online sales for DVD rentals as well. The company offers unlimited vacation time for salaried workers and allows employees to take any amount of their paychecks in stock options. On August, on August 7, 2017, Netflix acquired Miller World Theater own publishing company of comic books. Writer Mark Miller. It is the first ever company acquisition in Netflix history. Netflix plans to leverage Miller and his current and future work for future original content. Chief Content Officer Ted Sanderos described Miller as being a modern day Stan Lee. 
Yeah. The following week, Netflix announced that it had entered into a, an exclusive development deal with Shonda Rhimes. In the fiscal year 2017, Netflix reported earnings of U.S. $0.6 billion, with an annual revenue of U.S. $11.7 billion, an increase of 32.4% over the previous fiscal cycle. Netflix's shares trade at over $165 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over U.S. $136 billion in September 2018. Netflix ranked 261 on the 2018 Fortune 500 list of the largest United States companies by revenue. Netflix video on-demand streaming service formerly branded as Watch Now allows subscribers to stream television series and films via the Netflix website on personal computers or the Netflix software on a variety of supported platforms including smartphones, tablets, digital media players, video game consoles, and smart TVs. According to a Nielsen survey in July 2011, 42% of users used a standalone computer, 25% used the Wii, 14% by connecting computers to a television, 13% with a PlayStation 3, and 12% to an Xbox 360. On July 18, 2013, Netflix earned the first Primetime Emmy Award nomination for original online-only web television programs at the 65th Primetime Emmy Awards. Three of its web series, Arrested Development, Hemlock Grove, and House of Cards, earned a combined 14 nominations, 9 for House of Cards, 3 for Arrested Development, and 2 for Hemlock Grove. The House of Cards episode, Chapter 1, received 4 nominations for both the 65th Primetime Emmy Award and 65th Primetime Creative Arts Emmy Awards, becoming the first webisode of a television series to receive a major Primetime Emmy Award nomination. David Fincher was nominated in the category of Outstanding Directing for a Drama Series. Chapter 1 joined Arrested Development's Fight of the Phoenix and Hemlock Grove's Children of the Night as the first webisodes to earn Creative Arts Emmy Award nomination and its win for Outstanding Cinematography for a single camera series, Chapter 1 became the first webisode to be awarded an Emmy. In April 2016, Netflix announced it would be ending a loyalty rate in certain countries. Subscribers who were continuously subscribed before price rises Netflix spent about $5 billion on original content in 2016. This compares to a 2015 revenue of U.S. $6.77 billion in the year 2015. The rise of Netflix has affected the way that audiences watch televised content. Netflix's CPO, Neil Hunt, points out that the Internet allows users the freedom to watch shows at their own pace. So an episode does not need cliffhangers to tease the audience to keep tuning in week after week because they can just continue into the next episode. Netflix has allowed content creators to deviate from traditional formats that force 30 minute or 60 minute time slots once a week which it claims gives them an advantage over networks. Their model provides a platform which allows varying run times per episode based on a storyline, eliminates the need for a week-to-week -week recap, 
and does not have a fixed notion of what constitutes a season. This flexibility also allows Netflix to nurture a show until it finds its audience. Unlike traditional networks, which will quickly cancel a show if it is unable to maintain steady ratings. Christopher Robin has been uploaded onto Netflix for people who like the movie and want to watch it on Netflix. Thank you for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. Yeah, dog it!